Zimbabwe. We agree. Actually, South Africa must contribute towards the bailout of Zimbabwe. Anyone who refuses that is dumb. Yeah. Because if you don't have Zimbabweans, the border is going to be flooded by them. And anyone who's going to block them from coming into South Africa, we're going to fight with that person. Mm -hmm. So you are always complaining, hey, there are Zimbabweans here. Hey, the only way not to have them is by helping them in their own country. Zimbabwe must be helped. Yeah. Sadek countries, we need to come together, we need to close ranks. We must give conditional grant mm -hmm. to the Zimbabweans. Yes. And it must be grant that is dedicated to developmental programs which will help Zimbabwe to stand on its own. A weaker Zimbabwe leads to a weaker Sadek region. Yes. We need Zimbabwe. Even if we don't have money, those who know English will translate to you. <laughs> so the little we have as Africans, we need to share and stop being greedy. Otherwise, we are setting this Zimbabwe up for IMF and World Bank bailouts. And you know what happens. Or we are setting them up for the Chinese who are now gradually proving to be extremely hostile where they even take now assets of countries which are unable to pay them back let's not put zimbabwe under such a situation we are zimbabwe zimbabweans are us mm. we are one thing their problems is our problem every time when you uh, enjoy food here you say hey, look after your neighbors hey make sure your neighbors are all well off hey ha uh, but here is our neighbor here. Mm. It's suffering. Who are you to say we must not help our neighbor if we really care about ourselves as Africans? Mm. We are becoming a laughing stock all over the world because one of our own is swimming in a pool of debt mm. and we are unable to provide them a conditional grant which must not end up in the hands of ZANU PF politicians. Yes. Some nonsense wrote me an email and said, yeah, uh, we win ZANU PF, we support you. You don't understand what's happening here. And now you are saying these things you are saying about the soldiers. What are, I said, I don't care whether ZANU PF support me or not. I don't care about ZANU PF. What is ZANU PF? Mm. ZANU PF is ANC. Mm. Same thing. I don't care about ZANU PF. I'm not married to ZANU PF. I have no relationship with ZANU PF. None whatsoever. I care about the people of Zimbabwe. Anyone who unleashes soldiers on innocent and armed people, you have declared those people the enemy of the state. You are a fool. You don't deserve my respect. Yeah. If I allow it to happen in Zimbabwe, it will happen here in South Africa. It's unacceptable. Whether it's done by Munangangwa, whether it's done by Mugabe, it's unacceptable. Munangangwa must know that. It's unacceptable to beat up people, to break cell phones of people, to shut down internet. It's unacceptable. It's barbaric. In 2019, you've got a leader that shut down internet and shut down social media. That's so backwardness. It's unacceptable. Munangawa must know that. We're not happy with that development. We want to help Zimbabwe. We want the sanctions gone. We want a, a bailout for Zimbabwe. But we're not going to support the tyranny, the brutalization of our people that will never allow we had, we had too much hope in the new zimbabwe we're so happy for our people in zimbabwe but what we saw in the past few days is scary scary so Munangawa must know that we don't just support people here L allow the people to have the right to protest you increase petrol they must march you do all types of things they are not accepting them as much. It is their right. Munangangwa must be very careful of that Chiwenga. Is it Chiwenga? Mm -hmm. The deputy president. Mm -hmm. That military style of leadership if it is it's advocated for by Chiwenga who is a former army general 
and want to convert Zimbabwe into a dictatorship, he must know he doesn't have a friend in us. We are no friends with dictators. We don't want that at all. We want good uh, for the Zimbabweans.